Hey everyone, so here in the GTA, the weather is beautiful. It's spring, becoming summer. However, sometimes there's weather conditions. If you know, go out for a hike, go out to do some sports, it just turns on you. So in that case, I decided I needed to go and get something that is going to be waterproof to keep me dry. Now there's so many options out there, but I decided to look through Under Armour. And right off the bat, I saw a really nice jacket that Under Armour has, and it had that one main word, Gore-Tex. I'm a sucker when I see the word Gore-Tex on things. Anyways, let me jump into it. So I got the order ship uh, slip from online. I got two items on this one, but this item was uh, the GTX Packlight 2.0 jacket. Now I got this jacket in a size large because most of my clothes I wear, I wear size large to be a little bit loose. Obviously a jacket I want loose to fit over top everything, not fitted and tight. I mean some jackets you might want fitted and tight, but for this type of waterproof rain jacket, Okay, now compared to other things like Arcteryx or you know, Patagonia, like, that stuff is quite expensive. I'm looking something for the mid-lower range. Not as low as going to Walmart or you know a cheap you know, department store, but something that's a little bit more athletic and has some value. So you know, no further ado, I'm talking too much. Let's get you guys into this jacket. Okay, so I've already opened the bag. You know, they come in little uh, animal killer bags like this. It's, and while I get stuck over, but hopefully these all end in the landfill. Anyway, so it comes in this, I ripped it open, and right off the bat you can see the tag, price tag, let's throw it up to the front. You can see that Canadian MSRP was $360, once again a size large. If you're looking for this online, you can look up these product codes, you can look up, oh, there's no name on here, but look up the product codes, that's the color code. And there we go. Also on this side, you can see all the Gore-Tex information. Gotta love that big Gore-Tex sign there. That's what I fell in love with when I saw the jacket. Gore-Tex. All right, so the front shot of this jacket, I've already opened it up a bit. So let's look at the inside first. The inside, you got that branding there. Just, you know, simple sizing, Under Armour, where it's made. This one was made in Vietnam. Nice. You know, Under Armour makes their stuff all over the world. Vietnam, Cambodia, Bangladesh, you know, uh, the Middle East. It, it, it's great. Now, this really feels like a rain jacket. If you've ever gone fishing or any of that stuff, you feel that material. It's kind of slick. But at least I know that will keep me dry. You got a, a ventilated patch here, it looks like. And then the zipper on the inside, it looks like it's on the inside, but it's actually for the pocket on the outside. Same thing on both sides. And then at the bottom here, you can see it. I didn't know what these were for at first, but if you flip to the other side, you got little ties that you can pull, and it's on a wheel so that it tightens up. And then when you push it in, it's easier to suck back in. So anyways, that's the inside. Let me zip this up quickly. You can see the zippers on these things. Nice quality zippers. You know, it's got the own Under Armour brand. And, you know, a lot of uh, companies will just use the YY, or I forget the name of the zippers now. But they're a common brand zipper and they're not the greatest. So this zips up pretty nicely. You know, sometimes people worry about zipping up jackets. It feels very strong. It doesn't look like there's anything the zipper can get snagged on at the side. So if you need to rush during your soccer game, football game, any game, and throw this on, you're not going to struggle. So there we go. This is the jacket's front side. Okay, we got that there on this side. Another quick, nice look like this. You see, if I bring it over to this side, you got the Under Armour branding there in gray. It's kind of a raised print. Once again, for the hoodie, the pull ties, I believe on this one, I don't know. It's a little hard to see. Like, it looks like it pulls tight. Same thing on the hood. But I don't see this area where I would pull it. So you guys let me know if you figure this one out. Because it definitely looks like it should have pulls, but I don't see where they come out like the other one. On the inside, it's fully solid. Anyways, that's pretty much it. It's basic, simple, but it gets the job done. I'm going to keep it dry. So let me go throw this on. We'll see how it looks, and then I'll come back to you and give a final conclusion. Let's go. Go with the Gore-Tex. Yeah, I like this one. It just feels right. You know water's not getting in here. Put down. way to go. Let's try that, that hood up. There we go. Nice and secure. 
Still gonna choose the ties on this to pull the hood in, but. Let me know what you One think. One more time. So that's the conclusion for that Under Armour jacket. Once again, the Under Armour GTX Pack Light 2.0. Um, let me know if you guys have any type of waterproof jacket, something nice and light, because this thing's very light. Um, something that you wear when you go for a jog, a run, camping, exploration, sports, just, you know, give me a purpose. Tell me what you use these for, or what you've used them in the past, or if you plan on picking one up this season. Anyways, till next time, guys. Take it easy.